What you did to me on Escape the Night is the reason we are no longer friends and the reason why I talk badly about you. What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux and today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. Okay girls, we have so much tea and hot gossip to talk about because Joey Graceffa, who never really pops off on the internet, has went completely off on another YouTuber, which everyone knows is causing so much drama right now, Gabby Hanna. Now, for those of you who are not caught up on the drama, Gabby Hanna has been dropping videos exposing basically every YouTuber she's ever came across with. And a lot of people are saying, girl, not everyone is the problem. If you're pointing the fingers at everyone else, when are you gonna take accountability for some of the actions that she's done? Well, she called out Joey Graceffa and his ex, and it got really messy, right? So Joey Graceffa tweeted out by saying, I've been very silent about how truly awful she was on set. But if this is the game she wants to play, let's play. Then Joey said, LMAO always playing the victim. Well, Mr. Prada, which I believe used to be um, Joey Graceffa's ex, or I don't know, their relationships, you know? I think they're really good friends now. But Mr. Prada chimed in, and you already know Mr. Prada got all the hot tea, girl. Because rumors on the YouTube streets, Mr. Prada has the hot tea, okay? And here's what he had to say. He said, cutting nine minutes of the footage to 30 to 45 is taking longer than expected. This is the only and final time I'll be addressing the situation in full. I want the truth laid out on a platter with video, text, voice, and photographic proof. So there are zero questions asked tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now, guys, pipe and hot tea, okay? Now, for those of you who don't know, there is another super, super sweet, popular YouTuber. She has came out. Now, you may know her. She's very popular for cooking shows online um, on her YouTube channel. She also has a very popular show, I believe. Um, oh, I don't know the name of the show, but if you guys do, you can put it down below. She has a really cool, popular cooking show, and it's gaining a lot of traction, and I watched it online, and I love it, right? Well, you guys know who she is, Rosanna. Pancino, right? I think I got the name right, but she's like famous for like her cooking videos and stuff, right? Well, she popped off too, and she basically co-signed everything that everyone is saying. Here's what she had to say. She said, Joey and Daniel were extremely patient and accommodating during the filming of season three and season four of the Escape the Night, which is a really good show on YouTube. You should check it out. Okay, well then she said, I personally witnessed them both try to take care of every single cast member more than any other set I've been on in 14 years. They both even paid out of their own pocket to make sure we had the nicest trailer with everything we requested. Mm -hmm. Then she said, the crew was also very professional, organized, and hardworking. So here's when she starts calling out Gabby Hanna. She said, I don't like drama, but Gabby's video paints an untruthful picture of what happened. Much of it, it's simply false. And guys, so many people are saying this. Joey Graceffa and, oh my God. It just seems like people who aren't in drama are being forced to come out and say, enough is enough. You're lying. This is how it really went down. So she went on to say, Gabby did not come to the three wardrobe fittings before filming. Okay. At two of my fittings, I was told Gabby was supposed to be there that day, but didn't show up. She chose not to go at all. So the wardrobe department did their best to make a costume without being able to see her. I too had some issues with my So I just put out a video talking about my experience on Escape the Night, which people have been asking me about for forever since Joey and Daniel have talked so much shit about me publicly. People have been asking me about it. So I put out a video talking about my side of it, which is basically I was struggling with a severe eating disorder. I said that I did not want to do the show. Joey and Daniel insisted and really wanted me to. So I told them my needs. They said that they would fulfill those needs and that my dietary restrictions and needs would be met.
spoiler alert, they did not. Um, so I spiraled the way that I knew I would, the way that I made it clear I would. I was very embarrassed. I took accountability and I apologized to them privately to their face. They accepted my apology and continued to pretend to be my friend, um, coming to my parties, collaborating on my channel. And then as soon as Trisha Paytas made a video about me and it was popular to hate me, they threw me under the bus and continued to this day to talk shit about me for views. So link in bio. But was able to work with the production team to get them resolved at the fittings. Then she said the entire cast was sent a dietary restrictions request for days before filming. Every single request I made on the film was taken care of by Joey and Daniel. I personally heard Gabby tell Joey the first day of filming, I didn't fill that out. I hope that's okay. Keep in mind, meals are ordered before production begins, so everything is ready ahead of time. That is the time to make dietary requests or bring your own food. Then she said, I also personally witnessed Daniel leaving set to go get Gabby any food that she wanted. There was also many healthy options, including a salad bar with protein. Despite all this, she blamed Joey multiple times for causing her eating disorder to come back. Then she said, during the photo shoot press day, long after the show wrapped shooting, Gabby called one of the female production assistants a dumb Mm -hmm. and walked off set without finishing her shoot. The reason? Because the crew member gave an updated shoot time that was 10 minutes different than was originally told. Then she said, I also have ADHD and I'm very familiar with the anxiety and stress it can cause. However, that is simply not an excuse to treat people like that and behave in that manner. She follows up by saying, I don't think Gabby realized that I could unfortunately hear many of the conversations she was having with Joey and production because my part of the trailer shared a paper thin wall with Joey's. I did my best to avoid my private room for this reason. But from what I did hear, I can say I never experienced someone talk like that. Then she said, this is just a few of the falsehoods in her video but i'll stop here she was the most difficult mean and selfish person i've ever experienced on set <sighs> girl oftentimes exposing videos are produced in a way to leave out key details please keep that in mind when viewing this type of content okay so let me know what you think about all that drama it's a lot to take in more videos are going to be coming in the next couple of hours people who are on set are going to make videos joey graceffa is probably going to make more videos you know trisha paytas is going to make videos gabby hannah will she defend herself i really do think that gabby hannah might end up in a lawsuit i don't know but as always guys please smash this like button subscribe leave a comment down below and i have to say normally i don't really choose sides but it's not looking too good for gabby hannah right now you know i kind of feel for her but at the same time she's hurt so many people and to actually anger joey graceffa this much it's kind of shocking so let me know what you think about that and we'll see you in the next video because we might read some of your comments okay bye